Hello. Alana is still working on that sweet potato curry. So I thought I would do another episode of our... <laughs> there she is. <laughs> I thought I would do another episode of history, who's hot, who's not. This one's about Leonardo da Vinci, one of the most famous people of all time. And I'm always like, you know what? In a hundred years, they're not going to know the difference between me and the most famous artist that is alive today. In a thousand years, they're not going to know the difference between me and the most famous artist that's been alive in the entire 20th century. And in a million years, no one's going to know the difference between me and Leonardo da Vinci. But that doesn't matter. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci is actually pretty amazing. In my graduate studies, when I was getting my master's degree, I read his journals. They're crazy. He wasn't, like, some kind of autistic weirdo or something. I, like, he's really some, has some insane ideas. <laughs> my favorite two stories from Leonardo da Vinci's diaries, or the first one is about elephants. And he thought he had never seen an elephant, but he had heard of them. Because, you know, in the old world, it's not like Africa and Asia and Europe are really separate. They're actually all one big continent. So, like, of course he knows, he's heard of elephants. He, there are no elephants in Italy, but, I mean, you know, like... It's stupid. It should be called Eurasia Africa or something because they're all one continent. Australia is a different continent and North America and South America should be one continent and then Antarctica should be one continent and there's really should be only like three continents. And then it's stupid how they call Europe is different than Asia and they're divided by a mountain range called the Ural Mountains. I'm like, that's not the definition of a continent. Okay. Anyway, sorry. Tangent. So... Leonardo da Vinci wrote that elephants are very smart and they are so smart that they know shame and only mate under the cover of darkness. That is not true. <laughs> That's just what Leonardo da Vinci thought. And he also said that if a human gets off of the path through the jungle... The elephant will use its trunk to pick them up and put them back on the path. Like, where is he getting his information? He's just making stuff up because he's autistic or something. I don't know. Uh, my other favorite story that in Leonardo da Vinci's diaries is a totally fictional story about uh, this mountain that is so tall that when the sun sets, the sun is still shining on the top of the mountain long after darkness has set in. And uh, so the people, and there's like mist or fog or something, or clouds. So the people who live in that region are like looking at the sky and they're seeing this bright spot after darkness has fallen everywhere else. Because this mountain is so tall that this... Because he knew the earth was round and that the sun, you know, like we were rotating. The, the earth is rotating, you know. So, like, the mountain is so tall that the light still shines on it during the evening after everything else is dark. And there's so much fog that it, like, disperses the light in, like, a weird, fluid way, so there's, like, this ever-changing, beautiful, bright spot on the horizon where this mountain is. Anyway, I think those stories are cool. Leonardo da Vinci's awesome. Also, I, he was totally gay. I, I, he brought, I would have slept with him maybe if he was straight, but I'm, he was gay. Like, everybody knows it. If you look into it, gay... I would be his fag hag. Anyway, end of transmission.